I'm Scott. From Scott Dan and Chi Chi Devan, and we're about to head off on our next adventure. It's our fifth trip away in Chi Chi. And we're heading up on the east coast of Tasmania up to a place called Douglas River. Mm. It's our first time using our diesel heater. We had it fitted this week, and Ooh. we're pretty excited because um, I think it's going to be a couple of chilly nights ahead of us. So, yeah, we'll see you on the other side. Mm -hmm. So over there is uh, Scott, we've set the dual car up over there because um, there's a tap which is close by so we're able to uh, attach it to mains pressure which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, so he's just finished off the dishes. <laughs> What's Douglas the River like? It's very nice, it's very nice. The um, sound of the ocean is very powerful, it's like a constant wall of sound. But it's, it's not tiring, you know what I mean? It's quite energizing, it keeps you sort of like super alert, but it's also beautiful, lovely bush camping. Yeah, it's nice, plenty of room. Mm. One of the best things about having a fridge in the van is the fact that it's got a freezer compartment and you can have icy poles while you're camping. It's the best. So ladies and gentlemen, it's not really something I would normally want to bring to your attention, but basically Danny has suggested that she can beat me in a running race. And I'm just like, have you seen these legs? Um, so look, it could get ugly. It could get a little bit competitive, but I think we have to do this. I was very drunk at the time. You shall not pass! <laughs> so, lovely beaches deserve lovely manners. And of course, whenever we come to the beach, we always bring plenty of these bags, just in case I get caught short in the bushes. No, actually, it's for the doggies. So do be sure that when your doggy gives a little contribution to the beach, that you pick it up. Yummy! So here we are on the beach. I can see Bishano from here. 
and uh, yeah, it's nice, nice, nicely isolated, only a few other people here, lots of history, lots of really quirky facts that we might get into a little bit later. But right about now, it's time for me to find my center. So, without any further ado, please allow me this quiet time. Don't break your back, babe. Oh. I feel like I'm in the mouth of a T-Rex. Oh. <clears throat> this might not be for me. I was thinking, put that under my bum so I've got a little bit of something to stop me slipping downhill into the sea. Oh. Let's go and get some chocolate! Take, yep, yep. One, two, three. Ah, so you don't bring your hands down. That's right. Cool. Scott um, beat me in the running race. I'm gonna do something that he can't do. What's that, Dan? What can't I do? A bummy. Oh no. Oh no. She's gonna risk life and limb to humiliate me. <laughs> oh my god, it's so beautiful in here. <laughs> it does look very beautiful. <laughs> so what is it? Is it salty or? It's salty, yeah. It is salty. that time has come the time to say goodbye to Denison Beach and Douglas River here on the east coast of Tassie do be sure if you come over Tassie our wonderful little island that you get along the east coast there's some wonderful spots Swansea St Helens Mayfield Bay a nice little cheeky free one for an overnight if you're lucky enough to get in there but it's been an absolute wonder here Lovely if you get along to where the, uh, the river comes out into the sea there, some beautiful safe swimming and kayaking and whatnot. And uh, yeah, we've had a thoroughly good time, haven't we, Dan? Yeah, and some of the dogs. So it's a really good dog friendly spot as well. And there's a lot, actually, all up the East Coast, there's quite a lot of spots that are dog friendly as well. So absolutely. Um, yeah, that's a big bonus for us. And this will also be the uh, trip where we've um, invented an exciting new segment. It's called Stunt Person Dan. And so the challenge to Dan is 
for future videos that she does something daring that I can't do and we'll get it on film. And so in this one, of course, it was the magnificent bommy she did into the Douglas River. It wasn't quite a bommy, but... Well, I mean, it was pretty good. It was from about eight feet pretty, up. It was a pretty good jump. Yeah. yeah, it was a pretty good jump. But anyway, guys, <laughs> stay safe out there. And uh, don't forget to hit us in the comments below for anything you might want to say that's nice or otherwise. Please like and subscribe, and we can keep doing these madcap videos and showing you a little slice of Tasmania and uh, beyond. So we'll see you on the other side. Bye. Bye.